introduce to you our guest that will be joining us for the beginning part of our conversation tonight. She is the MPP for Kitchener Conestoga, Leanna Pendergast. Very nice to have you here. Thank you, Mike. It's great to be here. Um, at the end of the day, it's about what is good for people in Ontario, and, and we do believe that it's a long haul. So my background is an educator, an administrator in a high school, and it's a, a really long haul from New Year's Day until Easter. Um, and so this is a good chance for families to regroup. Um, an interesting comment that I heard, uh, we had a family skate in New Hamburg yesterday at the new multi-use recreation facility and what a turnout. There were over 500 people there, the tone, the excitement, the vigor in, in the arena. But um, the, whole, the whole idea that uh, this is something that um, we can stop and say it's family day, it's, it's not Thanksgiving, it's, it's not to eat turkey and watch football. It's about family, and, and a gentleman came up to me and he said, Leanna, we actually as a family played board games and spent time together because by title it was family day, and so that's what we did. So um, I really do believe that it's something that's good for Ontario, and um, do we check other provinces? I, absolutely, we don't live in a vacuum, and, and uh, hopefully that it'll, the momentum will carry and it will be a federal holiday. Well, and NDP leader, federal NDP leader Jack Layton has suggested that perhaps that wouldn't be such a bad idea. So I suspect then that you would endorse that initiative if he moves forward with it? It's a great thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what do you say to the 40% of Ontarians that did not get the day off yesterday? Um, in, in trying to get enough information so that I could share it with you and your viewers today, it is complicated, the, the Employment Standards Act, um, it, it's a negotiation between the employer and the employee. Um, probably, um, what would I say to them? Our belief is that all Ontario should, should enjoy Family Day in one way or the other. Um, if they didn't get the day yesterday, for whatever reason, if they had to go into work, uh, there are essential services and we thank them for that. We thank those services. My husband went to work um, before the family skate. He joined us for the family skate. We got there. And, uh, I called him safe, but we got there because we waited for my husband and, and we have three boys. Um, but he is an essential service and had to go into the hospital. Uh, we understand that how that's worked out for um, uh, employees, whether they get the premium or whatever the details are, that that's there and available to them. And I would refer people to the uh, Ministry of Labor website, the www.labor.gov.on.ca, uh, where the information is there and available to them. At the end of the day, when we get home, the people that are waiting for us are our family. And time, I keep thinking of that quote from Andrew Marvell, and out my back I always hear, time's winged chariot hurrying near. We don't have time to wait. We, we need to implement what's good for family, for, for that, that basic moral fiber of society now. And once we have that in place, which we've done as a government, then we can work out the glitches. But as you said, it, nobody's going to argue that it wasn't a good thing, that family day is not good, that it's not good for families. and, and um, Happy, healthy families are good for society. Uh, workers who have had a day off and a long stretch, and a, you see what it's like out there, the weather tonight, it's, it's pretty gruesome out there, um, are going to return to work rested, invigorated, and ready to contribute, to be uh, contributing to the economy and to the stability of society. So absolutely, to do it right away is the right move. Um, work out the glitches as, as they come along. Why wait? It's a good thing. We have to, in life, filter out the noise. There's a lot of noise out there and, and focus on the bottom line and in this case the bottom line is the family. So we've done that and, and now we need to work through the noise and the glitches. Absolutely, I think you articulate it beautifully. Could I just read an email that came in to me uh, yesterday after Family Day and I think it will address uh, what Maria is, is mentioning. It, it came in from a constituent following um, the Family Day yesterday and the skates and, and all of the things that the different communities put on and I think it, it will speak to what Maria is saying. Um, the constituent says, uh, I want to thank you, um, extend my thanks to the Ontario government for a fabulous day with my family. This morning we had breakfast at the Crossroads restaurant in Elmira, followed by a wonderful afternoon at the Waterloo Region Children's Museum. After dinner at Swiss Chalet, we enjoyed an evening of skating at Kitchener City Hall. Throughout the day, we were amazed at how many people took Family Day seriously. Hundreds of people enjoyed a meal at the Crossroads today and the restaurant itself helped to ensure families could enjoy themselves by offering extended hours and free meals for children, as did Swiss Chalet. As a family of five, we seldom eat out due to the cost. Our two meals cost us less than one typical meal out 
simply because children ate free to celebrate Family Day. Though today's housework is unfinished and the laundry is not done, my day was extremely productive. Today sparked something in our family. We are not going to wait until next February to celebrate Family Day. We've decided to have our own Family Day once a month. So thank you and all the members of Ontario's Parliament for bringing our family closer and all the others who also celebrated Family Day, sincerely. And the reason I find that so moving is because what Maria is addressing, saying one day a year, well, what's that going to do? Well, really, what that does is it sets the stage. All the world's the stage. So we set the stage, and it doesn't have to be once a year. It's really just a model. It's an example. It's a starting point. And so this family is deciding once a month they will have family day, they will celebrate, they will go out together, and, and, and they will bond as a family. And so, you know, Maria's point is well taken. It's just one day a year. But it doesn't have to be. It can just be a starting point. In your own way. Also, uh, because of your email, let me just uh, reiterate the plug for Crossroads. I don't think it's a very good secret. I was going to say best kept secret in the region. Certainly not. But if you haven't been there for brunch yet, you have no idea what you're missing. So uh, kudos to the folks at Crossroads that put on one of the best spreads you will find anywhere around this region. Uh, just finally, Leanna, because you bring up that email, and, and that does. It's, granted, it's just one email, but that encapsulates what the intent, the spirit of the day was really all about. The provincial government did make an effort as well to make available activities for families. Tell me about some of the things, the initiatives that the government brought forward to make Family Day about the family. Well, each, each riding, each MPP in each area, um, made, we, we really made it an effort to, to reach out to the community. I mean, we always do, make no mistake about it. But uh, so locally, um, I know that John Malloy and Kitchener Centre had a family skate at the auditorium. Um, Kitchener Conestoga had a family skate uh, at the new, as I said, multi-use recreation facility in New Hamburg. It was so successful and so many people um, were personally thankful, um, which in the, there's no need to be personally thankful to me. Um, it's, it's something that the government has done and, and, and we stand behind it 100% that he's not happy. Um, if, if was it Dan? Yes. If Dan's not covered under the Employment Standards Act for one of the nine uh, public holidays, um, then he needs to, to go to the, the Ministry of Labor website. Um, if he is covered under the Employment Standards Act and did not receive the day off, then he needs to probably contact me or, or his local MPP and, and absolutely will take a look at that. But as he pointed out, sure, he had to work and there were... Uh, I don't know what the statistic is, and I won't throw out a number. Um, you're saying 40%, but there were people who did have to work. Our goal is to work towards more Ontarians having the day off for Family Day, and, and you're right on, uh, Mike, that we'll have to work out those glitches. Okay, and Dan, just uh, so you know, the MPP in your area is our good buddy Dave Levac. So have a, you know, feel free to look him up if you're not getting those nine statutory holidays that Leanna mentioned every year. Uh, can we also expect, Leanna, that the provincial government or each riding will continue because yeah, you know, I think the traditions tend to, over time, fall off the rails. Will, will you be mandated? Can we expect that we will see these uh, sort of family day activities happening in our local ridings every family day? Wow, that's going to be a tough one to speak for all MPPs, but I'm going to answer yes. Go ahead and expect it. Absolutely. It's our commitment as a government. It was in our platform, and it was the first thing we did. It was the first thing as a new MPP in the House. I, I had the pleasure of voting for it, and absolutely, yes, expect it. New MPP in the house, your first time here on this program. You enjoying your time as an MPP thus far? Yes, sir. Can we do a show on that? Because I have a lot to say about that. Absolutely. In fact, okay. we'll do a, new, a whole show just on the lunch you had today, which sounded fantastic. Right. So, okay. Lunch with the Premier, by the way. Leanna and I were talking before the program. With um, all the new rookie MPPs. That right. must have been a great time. <laughs> Thank you very much for your time Thank tonight. You. We look forward pleasure. to having you back. Thank you, sir. Leanna Pendergast, she is our uh, MPP for Kitchener Conestoga, and uh, she's no longer a rookie on this program, so we'll have her back at another time. We are going to take a short break. We're back with more Family Day discussion right after this. Please stay with us. You are watching Farwell Live.